once we know the pricing of treasury bonds and uh, forward contracts on treasury bonds and the process of futures and for forward contracts and the hedging process then we can easily understand the process of hedging in interest rates future now let understand this process using a short hedge in uh, interest rate futures we have an example of a mortgage banker uh, known as ron uh, on march 1 uh, ron has a mortgage loan commitment of 1 million dollars at par on may 1 for a terms of 20 years at 12% annual rate of interest in fact ron is buying a forward on mortgage this means that he is agreeing on march 1 to lend 1 million dollar on may 1 in exchange for a receipt of principal and interest payment every month for a total period of 20 years now this loan is sold to an insurance company named as aceman the aceman in fact will be actually uh, uh paying the funds to the borrowers this means that now the it is the aceman that is lending money to the home borrowers and aceman will be getting principal and interest payments on this lending for the next 20 years so we can say that uh, ron has sold mortgages to aceman on april 15 so in this case how we can determine the price that aceman is required to pay to ron who is the mortgage banker now we see that if on the payment date the rate of interest goes above 12% the aceman will buying this mortgage at a discounted price and if on that particular date the rate of interest falls down below 12% the aceman will be buying this mortgage package at a premium price so it we assume that there is inability of rose uh to forecast interest rate movements in the days to come now let's see that on april 15 what will happen if the interest rate is varying and we have two types of interest rate situation one is above 12% and the other is below 12% so in case of above 12% the mortgage loan payment by the aceman will be below 100 million thousand 100 uh, 1 million dollars and uh, in case of 12% aceman will be paying over 1 million dollars so the sale price will be uh, below 1 million if the interest rate is above 12% and it will be uh, greater than 1% if the interest rate is below 12% the effect on mortgage banker is that uh, in case of rise in the interest rate there will be loss to the mortgage banker or to the loan as he must pay the full amount of 1 million dollar and in case the interest falls below 12% there will be gain to the mortgage banker or to the loan at as he will also he will again paying a maximum of 1 million dollar so if we determine the gain or loss in these two situations in case the rate is 12% beyond then there will be a loss of $60000 to the mortgage banker and in case the interest rate goes uh, below 12% there will be a gain of $50000 to the mortgage banker then uh the question arises that what loan get out of this loan to the uh of to offset his risk bearing if the if ron is going to take a risk then what is his interest or benefit in this uh risk game the benefit to him that he will be receiving two types of fees from the aceman the first type is the origination fee from the aceman on april 1 
and that is let's say three per one percent of per percent of the loan so he will be receiving ten thousand uh, dollars as a origination fee the second is the collection fee as the ron will be working as a collecting agent for the ace man so he will be collecting uh, an amount of a, a certain percentage on the outstanding balance each month so although ron is earning certain amount of fees for bearing the interest rate risk still there is a, a loss or an unknown gain for him like if the interest rate rises after one after may one he will be the loser and interest rate falls after may one he will be the gainer he will be in profit so rose can hedge this interest rate positions in a way that he can write treasury bond future contracts on march 1 and if rose gone goes for writing this future contract then what will be the effect of this hedging on the rose earning let's see if the interest rate goes higher then the treasury bonds future contracts value will go down this means that he will gain on the contract with the falling value. This means that further with the rising interest rates, his uh, loss on the loan is offset by a gain in the future markets. And in second situation, if the interest rate falls down, then the trading bond forward con uh, future contracts value will go high. This means that the rose will gain on the contract with the falling value and this means that with falling interest rates his profit on the loans is offset by the loss in the futures market now we have two comparative markets the first is the cash market and the second is the futures market cash market because ron transacted off its mortgage market deal in the futures market in an exchange he if in fact is entering into forward contract on March 1 and simultaneously he is writing 10 priority bonds of $100,000 each in a total of 1 million and that is equal to the uh, whole value of the mortgage loan. The rose in effect is uh, preferring to may, uh, write may priority bond forward contracts and we see that the treasury uh, delivery of these treasury bonds on forward future contracts during same month the loan is funded to the borrowers as there is no made treasury bonds so the loan achieves the closest month and that is the june uh, so he is contact uh, he has a contract in the june this means that if held to maturity the june contract would obligate ron to deliver treasury bond in june so the uh, loan sale in cash market ends interest rate risk that is determinated in future markets at the same time in this way ron nets out his position in the futures market while selling its mortgage loans to the asme has ron eliminated his risk totally uh, we can say that his risk has not eliminated in total because to eliminate risk in total uh, is possible if losses in the cash markets were exactly offset by gains in the future markets and vice versa. To uh, uh, this uh, risk cannot be eliminated totally in deal with treasury bonds and the mortgage loan because there exist some dissimil uh, dissimilarities between these two financial instruments like the, there is a dissimilarity on maturity pattern there is a dissimilarity of payment stream for loans the payment stream is at once and for treasury bonds it is periodic uh, and for uh, default risk mortgage has more chances of default risk as compared to the uh, treasury bonds whose default is uh, default risk is much lesser so far as the ex expected maturity expected maturity is possible in case of mortgage loans whereas it uh, it seems impossible in case of treasury bonds so mortgage and treasury bonds being unidentical instruments there is no identification uh, uh, identically these are uh, these are not identically affected by 
इंटरेस्ट रेट्स मूवमेंट्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वॉलेटिलिटी बिटवीन द ट्राइरी बॉन्ड्स एंड द मॉर्गेज लोन्स वी सी दैट बॉन्ड्स आर लेस वॉलेटल देन मॉर्गेज देन द रोज नीड टू राइट मोर देन टेन ट्राइरी बॉन्ड्स इन द फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आर फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स एंड इफ बॉन्ड्स आर अब मोर वॉलेटाइल देन द ट्रेजरी देन द मोरगेज रोज नीड्स टू राइट लेसर देन ट्रेजरी बॉन्ड्स इन द फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स बींग अन आइडेंटिकल फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स देर इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट को रिलेशन बिटवीन द प्राइस मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द बॉन्ड प्राइसिस एंड द मोरगेज प्राइसिस दिस मीन्स दैट कॉन्स हेजिंग स्ट्रेटेजी देन के नॉट एलिमिनेट टोटल रिस्क इन these financial instruments and finally the uh, hedging strategy cone is adopting in this case is the short hedge because in a short hedge strategy a uh, cone is selling the future contracts to reduce his risk associated with the mortgage loans